You know, this all seemed so simple at the beginning. We were broke. We were going to turn bounty hunter. We were going to kill people, take their fingers, give them to Randall. Problem solved. Now we have money. And then we found out that Caesar wants us dead. And so we had to run off and talk to Caesar and find out what Caesar wanted and see if maybe we can make Caesar happy. Except no, actually, screw Caesar, we want to declare war on Caesar, we're finding the most dramatic way possible to declare war on Caesar. And then we found out that Boone wants himself dead. And so Boone needs therapy. And that's why we're here at Bitter Springs. But no, we can't go anywhere without anyone saying, I can see you're the protagonist, please help us. And so Colonel Beret over there has decided she wants us to run around the entire Mojave getting help for her stupid little refugee camp. And fool that I am, I'm actually saying yes. Because, you know, for all that I would love to just walk over the ridge and get Boone some closure, I also know that the NCR occasionally pays their contractors. And, you know... <clears throat> It's never been lucrative to work for them, but at least we're killing the Legion, and the Legion assassins come at us, and the Legion assassins are carrying super valuable weapons, which means that, all in all, we're still turning a profit somehow. The first person we need to talk to is the Doctor, because what's-her-face, Captain Giles says, <laughs> hey, he needs a hand. Hello, Lieutenant Markland. Wow, hey, it's you. What are you doing in Bitter Springs? Oh, you know, just stopping by, being a concerned citizen. You know, a, a concerned citizen in need of caps, to be clear. And she said, hey, you might need some help. Hey, if you can help, I'll take whatever I can get. Doctor's bags would be a huge help, but what I really need are medical texts. I'm not trained to deal with major psychological trauma, and we've got a lot of kids in this camp. But you're a doctor, right? I mean, I understand that you're probably, like, a field surgeon, so you deal with stuff like shrapnel and stuff. I'm an army field medic. I can treat bullet wounds, shrapnel, trench foot, no problem. But this, the kids and the psychological trauma and all the rest, is out of my league. And you said you want books, right? Caravan companies are probably your best bet. Smaller traders aren't likely to have anything that esoteric. All right. Books it is, then. Thank you. Any help you can give would be a godsend. Now, while I'm here, uh, do I want to give this guy doctor's bags? Because, you see, I need doctor's bags a lot because my limbs are made of wet tissue paper and they break with a slight breeze. Then again, I do have, what's his face, the, 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 the herbal poultices that help with limb conditions, so maybe I can spare these two. These will be a big help, thanks. Okay. Thanks. What, what, what's the rest of that sentence? Thank you, Gabriel. You're very helpful. Here, take these caps for these valuable medical supplies, right? Right? Why am I doing this again? I mean, they're not gonna pay me. Oh yeah, go, just run out to the Crimson Caravan or wherever and buy some supplies for us. Well, you know what? I have an idea. Let's run to the van. It's parked by the Crimson Caravan anyway, but it's also parked by Freeside, and I think I remember a doctor there. I bet I could bilk the followers out of some free medical attention. Yeah, that's, that's how we do this. Say, I don't want to spend, you know, 50, 100, 200 caps, whatever it is, hey. on psychological texts when I can bilk a bunch of doctors and say, hey, there are some poor people who are suffering in a refugee camp. Won't you please come and help them? You know, the followers are suckers like that. They will crawl over themselves to come out here. And you know, it's probably best we be sneaking right around now because... Swift and silent. Yeah, swift and silent, that's how we do. Because I remember the Legion like to hang out around here. So if we can spot them before they spot us... And if we can take our sniper rifle and plug them in the head with that, 
then they don't have a chance to come out here and say, hey, how's it going? We, you know, the Kaisars marked you for death. And we can solve a whole bunch of problems at once. Yeah, like those guys right there. And if we can quickly plug the ones that have guns, you have a powerful rifle. So you go down first, and then you, and then you. And just like that, an entire Legionary Assassin Squad goes down, and we get to collect their weapons. I have noticed that the Gobi Campaign Scout Rifle, or however those words go together, is a little bit weak. If we get the sneak attack in the head, then yes, we can kill them. But it's not a guaranteed one-shot if they know we're there. So it might be time to think about making ourselves <laughs> stronger. Actually, we're right by the New Vegas Clinic, right? Have we bought the strength implant yet? I'm not actually sure. Yeah, let, let's go stop in right now and see if we've bought that yet. Yes, it turns out not only have we bought it, we have it installed. Which is unfortunate because even with this in there, we only have a strength of six. And the anti-material rifle needs eight. Now, while we're here, I might swap out the stealth nanobots for something else. Yeah, I have a synthetic lungs implant, which means I can sprint more and have water breathing. Which, you know, maybe it's not useful in the day to day, but it's occasionally nice. And if we're doing a whole bunch of traveling around, you know, having some synthetic lungs would be nice. Because you're a friend of the followers, I can give you a bit of a discount. Yeah, see, the followers, a whole bunch of suckers. <laughs> Now, while we're at this, let's get rid of some of these weapons we've got from, what's what's his face? The Legion, yes, those guys. Still, thanks to those Legion hit squads, we're now up to, how many caps do we have? Almost 50,000, just off the backs of Legion assassin squads. So, it doesn't actually hurt us to help the NCR, if it means we keep pissing off the Legion. <laughs> And you know, there's a part of me saying, well, what if we pissed off both sides? I mean, the NCR is in bad shape, but surely they can afford to send some assassins at us too, right? That, that's probably a bad idea. I mean, Russell, you like it, but Boone, oh, that look on your face. It's exactly like the look on your face at every other time. Oh no! <laughs> Emily says you're working with her on bugging the Lucky 38. That information would be invaluable to our research if you can get it done. Oh, yeah, um, right. That job, that is my top priority. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. That is what we want to do. But I can't bug you to give me a guy for the Bitter Springs refugee camp. But I bet if we talk to the good twink over here. Hi. If you're looking for medical help, try the other doctors. I'm just a researcher, not even a particularly good one. Oh, are you sure? What kind of research are you doing? Oh, you know, finding alternative treatments for common illnesses and injuries, stim packs, out of barrel cacti, and other fantastic improbabilities. As far as fruitless wastes of time go, it's quite noble in its aims. You don't sound too enthusiastic about it, though. I'm enthusiastic about helping people, but nihil no way soup so late. That's, uh, Latin, right? You're not a traitor to the NCR, are you? Caesar can cite Cato to suit his purpose. Many people have spoken Latin. Some of them were quite pleasant. It's unfortunate that the language is now associated with the gentleman across the river. And what does it actually mean? Because I know it's Latin. I don't know what, it, what you're saying. Oh, sorry. There's nothing new under the sun. If agave and mesquite were that miraculous, the locals would have figured it out a few thousand years ago. So why not just say there's nothing new under the sun? Where did you learn Latin? Not from the Legion, if that's what you're getting at. Books, sheet music, gladiator movie holotapes, bits and pieces here and there. The followers have extensive libraries, but we all draw water from the same old well. Even Caesar. Right, I forgot that he's technically a follower. You know anything about him? Ah, <sighs> I don't know anything that the others couldn't tell you. Caesar was one of the followers, before my time, of course. He wanted to rebuild the new world in the image of the old. A sad story of good intentions gone bad, 
In that regard, he's hardly unique. If you set aside his leadership capabilities, extensive knowledge, and ruthless cunning, he's just another jerk who steps on people to get his way. That's a good question there, me. Why do you do research instead of actually helping people? Not all followers are people persons. Besides, someone needs to do research. I have no problem with Julie sticking me back here. Out of sight, out of mind. There are worse things one can be, though I do admit it is a bit boring. Though it has a noble goal, I don't think this research will yield much fruit. No pun intended. Well, how about you come with me to adventure? Yeah, that's what we want. I want you to follow me for no particular reason because I have people who might need your help. No offense intended, but why should I go anywhere with you? Because there's a settlement that needs your help. And also you have a cute butt. Overt flirtation will get you everywhere, you know. On a slightly more serious note, if you're interested in helping out with the troubles plaguing Freeside, I can come with you. Just don't do anything obnoxious, like trying to help Caesar's Legion, and we should be fine. Understood? <laughs> oh no, there is no worry of that. Alright, let's not waste any time. There are people out there to help, things to learn. Maybe not in that order, but let's get to it. Ah, yes, Arcade, one of the few confirmed gay people in the wasteland. Oh, it's good to have a cute guy on my team. Not that you aren't cute, but let's be honest, you two are not my type. And now that we have the good doctor by our side, we should be able to grab the van and go back to the doctor at the camp. And Lieutenant Markland, Lieutenant Markland, I have wonderful news. You know how you said you wanted books about child psychology and trauma and childbirth? Oh. I didn't get that because that would cost money. Instead, I've brought you a twink who knows about plants, and as everyone knows, medical skill transfers perfectly to every kind of medical knowledge. Thank you. That was very helpful. I don't think I'll need those books after all. Isn't it amazing what having a medicine skill will do for you? <laughs> Oh, man, it makes no sense, but I love that you solved this quest that way. Unfortunately. Hey, hey Arcade Ganon! Buddy! Buddy! You know how I said I wanted you to help me with my adventures? What's up? That's not entirely untrue. I would love to have you with me, especially since you can perform cybernetic surgery. I did not know that. But for now, I want you to head back to the Followers' Fort. Oh, I thought my charm could win you over, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. Ah, tragedy. You know, I would love to have him with me. But it's just, you know, we're working with Boone, and we're, we're working with Russell. And, you know, you know what they say, that two's company and three's a crowd, and, you know, four. It can be fun in bed, but it's like it's not right now, right? Right now, we have a job to do with Boone. Now then, what's left for Bitter Springs? We've got them supplies, we've got them a doctor, who knows what he's doing. What else do we need to do? Now we need fresh troops. And unfortunately, the only place we can get more troops is from other camps in the area. Hey. She flagged three of them for us. Camp Golf is just around the corner. We've been to Camp McCarran. Unfortunately, the last one is Camp Forlorn Hope, which is a hell of a name for a military camp, which is all the way over by Novak. So, I think, let's just go in order of which one is closest. Let's go to Camp Golf first and ask them, what do they need, or rather, what do we need to do for them so that they will send us troops? Because, you know... Heaven forbid the NCR be well supplied and well connected and with radios that can come in and say, Hey, could you send us Somebody some more told me troops? Somebody nest of death claws lives on a ridge across the river. Probably just bullshit. What was that? A ridge of death claws that... Nah, you're right. It's probably just a story. Unless... Okay. We're not detouring from the detour, but I would like to check that out. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Yeah, well, hearing you say that almost makes me wish I could kill you, so... You look like you're in charge. Oh, hell. What is it now? All right. What's it gonna take for you to send reinforcements? Hey, you're a damn fine soldier, and word on the grapevine is that you're already some kind of hero. You got yourself a deal. Hey, all right, I love that. You've heard of me. You're willing to send troops. That's great. 
that's almost alarming, frankly. It's like I'm sitting here rejoicing and going like, wait a minute. That makes it sound like you're competent. Something is going on here. How did you, a competent sergeant, end up at Camp Golf? I've been here since the first push into Vegas. Back in the day, this camp was the hot spot for conflicts with the Legion, Raider tribes, you name it. These days, I spend most of my time trying to beat a little discipline into the soldiers under my command. I've gotten soft with no action. Yeah, sounds like you're having a little trouble with your troops there. Disappointed. We call them the misfits for a reason. They're undisciplined, lazy, and they have absolutely no esprit de corps. The squad leader's got some promise, kid named Mags. But as for the rest, I don't see much hope. I'm going to make them shape up if it kills me, though. Or them, for that matter. <laughs> Well, you know, if the Legion attacks, they're going to be dead. You know that, right? I'd be skeptical of the odds myself. I just hope they figure it out before it comes to that. Well, maybe I can help. I have been known to shoot a gun or two in my time. You're welcome to try. Hell, maybe they'll listen to somebody they don't see as an authority figure. And, you know, if by some happenstance you saw your way to giving me money for it, that would also be great now, wouldn't it? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever, he says. Suddenly, I don't like my odds of getting paid here. But still, he said to look for Mags, all right? Wait, who's Mags? You look like a Mags. I'm here because Sergeant McCready asked me to talk about you getting your squad in shape. He did, huh? Well, good luck with that. You'd have an easier time teaching rad roaches to march in formation. I mean, that's an awful mean way to talk about yourself. But come on, it can't be that hard. After all, if it were hard, soldiers could not do it. What needs to get done? Well, if you ask me, what we really need is to get this whole squad out on the practice range. Shape up our marksmanship and explosive skill. I'm sure the others have their own ideas, though. All right. And here we have a number of choices on how to get this quest done. Let's talk to the others, see what their ideas are. Mags wants to actually train the troops. She says, teach us how to use guns. Teach us how to use explosives. That way, we're actually competent troops, so that at the Legion attacks, we don't get immediately mowed down. This guy here in the mohawk here, you Hello. look punkish raz. I bet you have a different idea. Yo, I'll tell you what this squad needs. A healthy dose of angry juice. Angry juice, huh? Psycho, the big red one. I used to run with the fiends. I still got the hookups. Smuggle some in and you'll see an improvement. All right, that's option number two, is, you know, if you are incompetent, use drugs. That will surely cover up any gap. And option number three, oh. hello, Poindexter. I'm assuming you aren't associated with the army or the rangers. What can I do for you? Well, Sergeant McCready requested that I converse with you about shaping up your squad. That seems highly illogical. What reason would he have for doing that? Because he thinks that you all will respond better to someone who is not involved in the military chain of command. This is an unexpected variable. I had hoped to coast on an easy wave of mediocrity to a cushy government pension. <laughs> yeah, about that point, ex point extra. Don't feel so smart now, do ya? Your insults are both unhelpful and unwanted. I'll thank you to keep them to yourself. Yeah, meanwhile, Poindexter here thinks he's real smart and has a real big habit of talking talking with words with too many syllables. Are you in charge around here? In a strictly official capacity, no. However, as I am by far the most intelligent and resourceful figure on this base, I feel it's safe to say the soldiers here look up to me. And he doesn't have a very high opinion of himself, so that's a no then. I suppose if you must stick with your narrow, parochial view of in charge, then yes, it's a no. Are we done? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. It's just this guy reminds me of myself from five, ten years ago, so <laughs> I have to give him the hardest of times. Because he's so intelligent, even he doesn't know what his idea is. My idea is I tell you that you tell me that we should cheat. Hmm, an intriguing proposition. Company readiness reports are logged on the computer systems at the resort. If you hack the system, you could alter our records. Such an attempt, however, is likely to thwart efforts to motivate the squad to do actual work. If such is your goal, you should look elsewhere. So we have three options. Actual training, drug use, cheating, and you, the big strong Hello. guy with the shoulders. Hello, O'Hanrahan. 
Y'all sure are a big old hero. I gotta write my mama and tell her I met you. <laughs> yeah, you do that. All right, O'Hanrahan, with the charming jawline and lovely red hair, what's your idea for how to help your squad? To me? I'll tell you what I think this squad needs. A little more basic human niceness. Human niceness, huh? That's right. Folks just don't talk to other folks. And everybody's always cross with each other. So you think that if everyone's nice to each other, suddenly that'll substitute in for training, right? That'd be swell. Only if they knew the idea came from me, they probably wouldn't take you serious no more. So maybe you ought to think about it first. And I sure hope you're more convincing than I am, or they ain't gonna listen. All right, there are our four options. Actually training these soldiers to be soldiers, giving the soldiers drugs, changing the soldiers' records, or being nice. And you know, the funny thing is, hey. if you go with Mag's plan, you need to have at least 45 guns and at least 45 explosives. You come over to the range and you teach them how to be we soldiers. And you know, I can do the guns just fine, but my explosive is only 22. And even if I were to pop a magazine and dress up nice in explosive gear, that would still only give me like 43 or 44, I think. So that, unfortunately, isn't an option. It's an entertaining option, though, because you get a whole bunch of bad voice lines. Five thou shalt not count, neither shalt thou count two. Never mind. What the, what the hell are you talking about? Unfortunately, it looks like we do have a problem, which is that even going through all of our cabinets in the van, we don't have anything that will give us that extra plus two explosives we need. We've maxed out our perception at 10, we're using a Blastmaster helmet, we're wearing a magazine, and unfortunately, we just can't get that last two points of explosives we need. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to turn back time real quick. Because as it turns out, Mags is not the only option. We have the Psycho Kid, we have the Know-It-All, and we have the Farm Boy. And you know, if you go back to the end screens, there are two good results that end up saving the misfits, and there are two bad results that end up dooming them. Turns out if you give soldiers Psycho, they don't have any self-preservation, and they die. And if you cheat their test results, they don't know what to do, and they die. And if you train them, well, suddenly they know what to do, and, they're, and they survive. But also, <laughs> the farm boy, if you're just nice to each other, that works. Tell me about your squad mates. What do I need to know? They're mostly pretty nice. Coindexter showed me how to make fireworks. Raz kind of scares me sometimes, but I don't mind. He's had a hard life. All right. Now, this check is much easier because our, our base skill is much higher, so we just need one magazine. Let's see. One. Meeting people. There we go. Speech plus 10. Hey. Puts us at 45. Coindexter. You've managed to become extraordinarily well-liked by the top brass. You should exploit that for your own gain wherever possible. I will do that. That is absolutely the plan. That is not why I'm here taking care of you losers. But, you know, you are obviously a certified genius, right? And since you're so respected, you can help get this unit in shape because, after all, you believe you're in charge. Hmm. You're trying to appeal to my ego. I must admit, it's an effective tactic. All right, I'll help. But only because I want to see if it's even possible. Now, Mags. Not much to tell, really. I grew up in New Reno, joined up, took my shot at being a ranger, didn't make it, so I'm stuck with this crew of jokers. How come you didn't make it into the rangers? Gee, I don't know. Maybe because I'm saddled with the worst damn unit in the NCR army. Think that might have something to do with it? I mean... You're here with them, so you can't be that much better than them. But it sounds like you aren't too fond of them. Yeah. I mean, no. They're okay people, but they don't care, you know? They don't have any ambition, no drive. They're slacking off, and that reflects badly on me. So, if you tried to lead by example instead of slacking along with them... You really think so? Hell, I guess it's worth a shot. And Raz, Gosh, the psycho boy. The what you want? What will it take to get you to play nice with your squad mates? We don't talk too much, mostly. Poindexter's a smart-ass prick. O'Hanrahan's a big pussy, ain't good for shit in a fight. And Mags, 
Well, Mags is cut out for something other than soldiering, you dig? All right. But, you know, that's charming. It's good to know the team building is alive and well. And I don't know why this works on you, but apparently it does. Shit, maybe you're right. Guess I gotta give him a shot. And just like that, let's go back to O'Hanrahan and give him the good news about his squad mates. How's that human niceness thing working out, you know, 30 seconds later? Boy, the squad sure is working together a lot better now. I think we're gonna be A-OK. -okay. All right, let's get out of here. Toodaloo. That's flags of our foul ups completed. Let's go talk to Sergeant McCready. Well, their test scores are only marginally improved, but I'm hearing good things about the Misfits teamwork. And just like that, flags for our foul ups completes. Yeah, whatever. Which isn't quite enough to push us to the next level up. But hey, that's Camp Golf taken care of. That's some troops on their way to Bitter Springs. And our last meeting people gone. So if we need another speech check, I'm glad we had to do three of them here because we're not getting another another of them done. But next up, Camp McCarran. We've already done some work there, so it should be fairly simple. Yes. We're going to get you your therapy, Boone. Eventually. You know, any day now. Just uh, hang, hang tight there. This, this might take a while.